Sailors gone before. <laughs> but beware, Gemma, the one legged man, he's the one to fear. Don't worry, Captain, we'll watch for him. Even old Flint he feared him. That's why he didn't bring him to the island. If he comes poking around here, you run for me, Whipsy, quick! If we see him, we'll tell you. Yeah, sure, we'll let three heads. It'd be no joking matter. The one legged man brings death. All right! I've 
Jimmy? I hate my life. I should just run off to see like my father did. He was mired when we sailed to China as a captain, and he wound up first mate. Run off to see him leave everyone? Lose everyone. I'm an orphan. I've got no family. Can you imagine the journey of sailing off to find his grave treasure? I could be navigating with my father's old compass, and I could be easy on to ride when they came. Not all fun and games, Jim. It's no one good to trust.
Smart as paint you are, lass. Now, now you have tore this fine ship yet. No, not yet. Well, allow me. What's the matter, lass? Oh, that. Lost that frightened brigands off the coast of Madagascar under an Admiral Hawk. As many a man lost a leg and worse in the service of a king. All hands on deck. Well, come on in, lass. We don't stand on ceremony round here. Chop, chop, look lively now. The captain will be here soon. Ah, oh, the ship is provisioned in a certain place, and the captain should move aside, take away, make ready for the captain. Lolly will accompany the raft. Is he bad tempered? The man is a raging volcano, tormented by inner demons like to which mere mortals cannot fathom. Who's that? That's Mr. Aaron, the first mate. A captain fellow. Make way for all round, the captain approaches. Climb on board, Captain Abraham Smollett. Good day, Mr. Aaron. That's the raging volcano. <laughs> I knew it. He's furious. <laughs> you there. You responsible for swabbing the decks. Thirty lashes and then you walk the flank. <laughs> I didn't give that order, Miss Farrow. I was anticipating a wind, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the wind seems freshening. The tide is with us. Miss Farrow, this voyage has begun. This voyage has begun. Raise the gangplank. Let go forward, lad. Let go up, lad. Hard to starboard. Any man caught darling will be shot on the side. I can't <laughs> give the order, Miss Farrow. Well, this is shaping up to be a fine voyage, lads. Yes, sir. Jack, one-legged man. You remember what Billy Bones said about the one-legged man? I know, I know. But you saw the pirates that came to bed that earth. So was any other cup. How dangerous can he be? Roll call. Squire Trelawney. No, yes, sir. Dr. Jane Livesey. Yeah. John Silver. Aye. Jemima Hawkins. Yeah. Piper Willowfoot. Oh, that's me. Hi. <laughs> Isabella. Aye! <laughs> Betty Tennant. Here. Gray Tennant. Hey, uh. Israel Hands. <laughs> <laughs> Old Tom. Aye. Angel Murray. Here. Gentlemen, ladies. May I see you in my cabin for a moment? Immediately. Yep. <laughs> They're undoubtedly the seediest bunch of cutthroat scoundrels and villains that I have ever seen. <laughs> I take the fence, so you know, I rely heavily on the advice of Martin Chip's cook, Bob John Silver. A cook. <laughs> <laughs> you hired our crew on the advice of a sea cook. <sighs> We're really beginning to doubt this voyage. Miss Hawkins, I understand Mr. Bones gave you a map. I'd like you to give it to me for safekeeping. If any of your crew catch him with his pistol as well, you might go looking for him. I'll be careful with it, sir. Thank you, dear pardons, ladies and gents. But I've come with a bit of a treat for you. Tis me very own best brandy laid down by the brothers of Buckfast Abbey to toast to <laughs> a prosperous voyage. I'm sorry, Mr. Silver, but I'm not going to allow drinking on this voyage. Oh, but sir! It is a tradition for officers to drink to the success of a voyage. <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I must set an example for this questionable I want a world of consumption of alcohol of any kind. Oh, but, sir, I can vouch for this crew myself. You can sail to heaven and back with this lot. Very well, sir. I shall tend to me duties and see to it that every drop of alcohol is thrown overboard.
wrong place. Well, I shouldn't. I'm very sure to hear a little drone from you. Ignore him. He's as much care about the future because he's still bitter about the past. How about your future? Or don't you harm? Oh, your future is very clear to me. Ten children away eat. <laughs> one destined for the priesthood, and the rest will be farmers. And not a single one of them can read. <laughs> and if you can tell the future and tell us this, how long will it take us to reach this mysterious island of a city? Are you people, not Max? So you cut your eyes, coming, Bill? Or the angel? I'm so sorry. If an angel is a coming, Bill, let's charge. Oh, come on, coming, Bill, take a braver. Let angel tell you all about her. Fifty brave children and twenty copies you'll have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid of me, I promise. You're not afraid. Then pass me your palm. Of course, I see it now. You have crossroads in your future. Very soon you'll need to make a decision. Decision? You'll know when the time comes. Why should I three palms? When I was in Tortuga. That's where I met old Tom. He was breaking up a bar fight, wasn't you, Tom? Of course, that's also where I met Israel. I was the bar fight. You <laughs> <laughs> should have seen the man who was up against legs like tree trunks crying like a baby. Why are you such a good one having outside, eh, Jack? Um, why did you find him? The man in the bar? Did he read to you? Come on, girls, should learn to mind their own business. Just a question, I think you need to cry. Best to keep your mouth shut and stay out of my way, girl. Why, because he's high. Israel! Unless you fancy taking over a jurors, I suggest you put Miss Hawkins down. Wouldn't want the captain to intervene. You're right, Jeff. Pick your fights last. Never provoke someone you can't best. Everything. Sorry. How's your skill with the sword? Ah, well, me crutch will do against an unskilled man, but what won't get you far in a real fight, Jim Lass? Tom, throw us your blade. That's it, lass. Get a feel for it. Strong wrist, nice bone grip. Just pick it up, pick it up, come on. They should be wider. Better. But don't leave yourself open. That's the way. Again. treasure, and that someone on board has a map. Of course, not to be concerned, Jem lad. I'm only a ship's cook. Such matters are best suited to Captain Smollett. He captains the ship, not I. Come on, Lanza, you can captain this ship. That I could, lad. Maybe someday I will. How did it happen? This. Ah, oh, well, 
Give up a few things chasing a dream. Is it locked up? I'm hoping it is, Jim. I most surely am. Imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Squire. Therefore, it's only right that we should know what you know. So, tell us, where's the treasure map? That. How do you not know about the map? Did you hear what you called me? Oh, you called me his dear girl, the last person said that lost their eye. Don't let him write you a picture. I need at least one of you stay level headed. I'm tired. This incident does make me worry about that. I'll ask the questions. My friend and I. Well, there could be extenuating circumstances. I mean, she did ask very nicely. You'll tell us, Mr. Tennant, won't you? Go down and see her like yourself. You do know where to share and share alike among the crew. Don't tell them anything well. They're scoundrels. All of them. What did you call me? They ain't talking. But I better than make a square scene. Oh, oh, I want something to take four men with a beer flush. You don't want him. You don't want to come near with that bit. Do you have to do side, Squire? Or should we make the match? Drop your weapons and get back to the Oh, The map! The map! They were asking about the map! Squire, keep your voice down. Miss Rallon, look at these three remaining in college. See if they just kept the way from the rest of the crew. I trust the rest of you will keep this map for the quiet. Jeff. Jem, Jem. Ah, oh, great, tell me what happened. By the right side, shall be locked up too. <coughs> for letting thieves like that aboard this ship. Ah, oh, it chills me to think that they almost harmed your friends all because of some daft treasure map. It's not your fault, Jem. It's mine. None of this would have ever happened if I just didn't catch a smaller map. Your class. You're telling me 
You really do have a treasure map. Well, not anymore. Mr. I took him lots of from the captain's cabin. Please, I shouldn't be talking about this with you. You must promise to keep it secret. Don't bother your head about that. Don't bother your head. You've only told old Long John. Who, who am I going to share it with, eh? Now, you go on along. Do your chores now. Go on. Go on. Tonight, sir, reminds me of the night where we ran aground off the Pampas. Ah, it were a terrible shame. Half the crew drowned in leaky lifeboats. Leaky lifeboats? Oh, a common occurrence, sir. A little used piece of equipment falls into disrepair and becomes unsafe. Oh, I'm not saying our lifeboats are unsafe, sir. I'm not saying we got problems. Still, it wouldn't be much good to find out they aren't seaworthy when you need to put it. Very true, sir. <laughs> well, if you insist on testing them, allow me to accompany you. Is there anything I can hold while you're testing them? For safe keeping, like your hats, maybe, your coat. Uh, no, no, not your, 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 your keys. My keys, of course. If they must fall over, it'd be disastrous. Oh, that it would, sir. That it would. Multiple times. 
even on the French and Polish ride right, cave in. I could have showed them where the map was. I could have led them straight to the treasure. But did I cave under the threat of torture? Never! That's just a kind of oh, oh, easy back, right? You, you're supposed to be locked in the brig. Now, Mr. Ted, you really didn't think we went through all that trouble, testing our metal, just to spend the rest of our journey locked up, did you? Testing our metal? We needed to know if we could trust you, that you were a man of honor, a man who wouldn't cave in the face of danger. But no, you, my friend, you are a brave, honorable, and courageous man. I am. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the kind of man we need. It takes one with a very particular set of skills to do this job. I've been waiting for you for a very long time. I don't know what to say. Don't worry, I'll do all my talking. <laughs>
And on top of everything, those power-hungry landlords can't do a thing about it because we have our collateral. Yeah! They won't actually hurt us, though, will they? Who? The Kermit girl? Of course not. It's like this story. When a bank manager asks down to take a payment on a mortgage, they need collateral. He's an author's belly up. Chem bags are collateral. This way, no one from crew can move against the sea means it would put her in danger. Ah, I see. Ah. Very good. Hey, clear for that, clear for that. Make way for the cops, sir. Move. Easy, Jim. It is all in good fun. Then let me go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wouldn't harm a hair on your head, see. But we need you. Not just to keep Smollett and Hesler at bay. But you can read. Our schooling was a lot different than yours last. We need someone who can read Flint's directions on the treasure map. Well, I can also read. Try to convince the girl. I wouldn't help you. You're going to take the murder in Pyro. <laughs> you really think Captain Smollett was preferring to share the treasure with the likes of us? No! No! no. no. And we bear the rightful owners. Flint's own crew! No. We shed our blood for that treasure! No. We Anyone! Ah! But we're willing to share it with you, lass. Proven yourself. Honest, brave, and true. Smart as pain you are, lass, didn't I say? So what do you say? Join us. My friends will be coming to rescue me. <laughs> <laughs> the same ones that jumped ship and left you. It's been ours. How come they haven't come looking for you? Hmm? In this world, Jim, you gotta know who to trust. I'm the only friend you got left in the world now, so what do you say? We dig up the treasure together as shipmates. We'll be needing your compass, though. No. I'm afraid I'll be taking it either way, Jim. Well, come on, Eli! No! Let's not waste time! No! Let's go! Is that so? Well, in that case, 
you drop whatever weapons you have and tell me exactly who you are and who marooned you. And who may you be? I am Benjamina Gunn, Maroonie, sailor, pirate, and queen of this island. Benjamina, Abraham Smollett. So who? Who are you? <laughs> Old girlfriend. <laughs> Tie him up. Starboard and larboard on deck they will scroll. Way, hey, blow the man down. Fall on John Silver, commands the black fall. Give me some time to blow the man down. Blow the man down, bullies, blow the man down. Way, hey, blow the man down. Throw him right back into Liverpool town. Give me some time to blow the man down. Look, 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 look. Heavens of mercy. It can't be that true. Ah, that'll be old George Merry. Flint hung him up there after he gullied him to map the trail to the treasure. Old George, he'll be money he did. Well, he ain't paying out now. <laughs> what does the map say now, Jim? Follow him off headache, two hundred and ten paces from where the dead man hangs high. <laughs> Wicked sense of humour old Flinty had. <laughs> what a wit. I'm getting a bad feeling about this place, Long John. Flint's spirit's still on the island and it's become a curse to him. Well, there's an informed opinion. But what if it's right? What if it is curse? I'll show you what I think of your curse, you muni. What are you doing? Do you give me orders? Belay that! Follow the map's head. The treasure's close. Dig deep in the center of the coast, buried treasure, buried here. Ha! Oh, John was right! The treasure's ours! Dig, dig! Come on, mate. Shall I have a Sorry, but I'm afraid I can't find any Me neither! Look sharp, lass. Something ain't right. The map let us head to the I told you we'd in here! Get going while they're distracted. Well, isn't me there? Why? Because I like you, Jim. I hope you didn't think I was lying about that. <clears throat> One dirty guinea. Is this your bleeding treasure? Our people are dividing, isn't it, Israel? You brought us here for nothing! We can't go back to the others or we chant the mutiny. Silva's been playing us this whole time. What are you talking to? Long John will have a plan. <coughs> plan for every order. <coughs> What's your plan now, hmm? <sighs> Benjamina, run for it! Yes! What is it, Long John? I told you, Tom. He's been playing us all along. He's made a deal with Smollett. I'd just as soon declare great! To be my captain, now you as an heir. Let the girl go and there'll be treasure yet. What are you getting at? I'm not opposed to be captain. <laughs> that girl is honest to a core. When they ask her how she got free, she'll say it was old Long John. That'll put us in good standing when we need to leave. What difference does it make standing we're in? Smollett's not here. Do you think he's just gonna play dead and not try to stop us, hmm? Always have an issue up your sleeve. That's the way to win. Mine's the girl. What about the treasure? Alas, the treasure! Well, the map can't lead us to the treasure. But I can. Come! Wait, I'm going after Captain. What's that woman? 
woman took him away hours ago. She's probably eaten him by now. What woman? Who knew it? Listen, we've got to find Jen and Gray. We can't be looking at drugs and help. You wouldn't abandon us. I'm not abandoning you anymore. Are you with me? Aye. From all the backwater, low class piles of sand in the ocean, you had to wash up on mine. Angelina, please, I want you to know I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry? No, sorry just doesn't cut it. You left me standing at the altar. I know, I have no excuse. It's just that it all happened so quickly and we were young and I got cold feet. I saw a ship headed for Zanzibar and I just jumped straight on it. As you know, so my mother came all the way from Paris. I was wearing her white lacy dress and the cake was filled with lemon custard. Oh, don't mean it. <laughs> Fate has brought us together again. Well, pirates and buried treasures. Don't you start with me about pirates. After you jilted me, I took up with this guy, Bernice Flint. The man was totally psychotic. <laughs> you mean Captain Flint? Well, he was a pirate. I was a lady. You know the story. <laughs> but then, then he marooned me. Marooned me. Oh, Mina, what have I done to you? I'm so sorry. Bravo, Captain. Touching reunion, Benjamin. It seems to be your day for renewing old acquaintances. Well, hello, Long John. <laughs> well, if you've married me, <laughs> I have issues, I need commitment. You knew that about me. I'm money. afraid I'm on a tight schedule, Benjamin, and I'll tell me where's the treasure. Hmm, treasure? I might have to think about that. Don't play games with me, woman. You'll recall, I'm not a patient man. <clears throat> Don't tell him anything, Mina. I beg you, he'll only kill you too. For the last time! Where's the treasure? Stop! Please stop! The treasure's in the old stockade on the west side of the island. It's in the hidden pan under the floor. It's all there now. Free him at once. Thank you, Benjamin. Come, get up! Israel, take the ship. Bring it closer inland and have it ready and board. Until further notice. Ah! <laughs> well now, Captain Hawkins, where might we be sailing to? Do you know this island well? Hey, I sailed here under old William South. Well, I've seen the map. Do you know a cove called the North Inlet? That I do. It's on the other shore, not far from here. Well, that's what I'm sailing to. A silver taught you how to use that? Smart as paint. 
Silver said about you, smart as paint. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's safe in talk? Take it back, Tom, and tear it up. Put it back in the good book, mate. Roman sailor like yourself needs as much scripture as he can get. Well, what say the lads? Come on!
fight. Trust me, those that die are the lucky ones. Help or advice. I'm already going to be 
<laughs> yes, that, that's probably for the best. But Jim, if you ever wanted an adventure, you come looking for old Long John. I'll be waiting. That was very noble of you. Well, it's funny. There's not many places you can go yet. I always hope he makes it. The Hispaniola reached Bristol and met three days later than its suspect arrival. Of the 15 crew that boarded the ship, only six returned. With an exotic Lady of the Island in tow. We had an ample share of the treasure, which we used wisely, or foolishly, according to our nature. I still say we didn't need that golden chamber pot. <laughs> of silver, we have heard no more. That formidable seafaring man disappeared into the shadows from whence he came. Although, I often wondered as the long journey that Jemima took across the sea, and if she ever happened upon him. Like the islands, it was something she never spoke of. Nothing in the world would ever bring me back to that accursed island. Sometimes. I still dream about it. I hear the surf booming about the coast, and the shrill whistle of the wind. And suddenly, a voice cries out. Dead men tell no tales! It's time.